Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to create a simple WSCF service and uh, how to use it in another client application. So let's begin. Create a new project. Select WCF service library. Say next. Uh, give some name to it. Let's say I'll give so has WCF library and uh, the location I will give some default location on my machine. So this is our basic project, a simple service library. We can delete some unwanted uh, code related to this composite. We'll keep our service as simple as possible. And uh, then let's rename this to so has, uh, its interface. I'll give it I so has service service and apply that and similarly i'll rename this class service class to so has service and with that let's save this and let's run it so when you run this wcf service uh, visual studio will host it and you can test your service right so you get this you enter to that means it's running fine now uh, what we want to do is we want to uh, we want to invoke this service from another application or we want to call this service from another application so let's create another application and uh, it should be new project let's say console application so next and yeah give some default name to it on this application uh, what we have to do is we have to add a service reference so you go to add service reference and uh, here you can select the path of this service so in its app config you'll you'll get the path at which the service is associated so you can copy that and uh, run it so since this is not running it will not find it so um uh, yeah so an error occurred it says so skip this go to this project run it and now you can add that so you right click add service reference and now if you search you will quickly find this service okay so this is the service this is the operation that's available and you can say okay so that the service is added you can uh, in your assemblies uh, references you can add a reference for a service model so service model that's already there and now you can use this service using the dummy proxy class so which is this soha service client okay so you can copy this go to your program and you can say this client is equal to new service client it says that it needs to add this and then you can call a function on this so and that will give you output you can output this that service output is this output okay and now if you run this application yeah you get service output you entered 11 okay so that comes from here okay uh, from 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 here okay so you can say hey hey okay if you build it you run this what you run this and if you go to your console application, run the same application, you say, hey, you entered this. So this is the output of the service. And it's as simple as that. Thanks for watching.